Hello boys and girls, welcome to today's maths class. The textbook that we are following is a concise mathematics book, Selena Publishers. This is for class 6 and today we are going to do fractions, exercise 7b, page 71. Theme 1, number system, fractions. So we are on exercise 7b, which is found on page number 71. Question 1. Reduce the given fractions to their lowest terms. So the first question given to us is 8 by 10. Now when we have to reduce fractions to the lowest term, we have to divide the numerator and the denominator by a common factor, a number that can divide both these numbers, 8 and 10. So 2 can divide 8 and 10. So let's see the fraction that we get. 2 4s are 8 and 2 5s are 10. So we've got the fraction 4 by 5 which cannot be reduced further. So this is the lowest term. So we have simplified 8 by 10 to 4 by 5. Question 2. Let's divide 50 and 75 by a common factor, a number that can divide both these numbers. The number 5 can divide both these, uh, 50 and 70. It can divide both these numbers, but let's think of a bigger number. What about 25? 25 can divide 50 and 75. Okay, now 25 into 2 will give us 50. And 25 into 3 will give us 75. So our lowest term is 2 by 3. Question 3. Let's divide 18 and 81 by the number 9. 9 can divide both. So 9 twos are 18 and 9 nines are 81. So the lowest term is 2 by 9. Next one we have 40 by 120. Now before we divide this there's one thing that we can do. We can take off the 0 which is in the numerator and cancel the 0 which is there in the denominator. So our numbers now are 4 by 12. Let's divide both these numbers by 4 itself. We can divide both by 4. 4 1s are 4 and 4 3s are 12. So the simplified fraction is 1 by 3. The last one is 105 divided by 70. Let's divide both by 5. That's an easy one, isn't it? Let's divide both by 5. Okay, now let's divide 105 by 5 and see what we get. Let's do short division. 5 2s are 10, 5 1s are 5, so that's 21. So 5 into 21 will give us 105. And 5 into what is 70? 5 into 14 will give us 70. Now we have a fraction 21 by 14 which can still be reduced. So both these are in the tables of 7. Okay, both can be divided by 7. So 7 3s are 21 and 7 2s are 14. Now we have a fraction which is in the lowest term and which cannot be reduced further. Question 2. State whether true or false. Okay, now we're going to use the same system of reducing the fractions to the lowest term. Now the first fraction is 2 by 5 which is already in the lowest term. The second fraction is 10 by 15. Let's see if we can reduce that to the lowest term and what we get. So I'm taking 10 by 15 here. I'm dividing both by 5. Now I get 5 twos are 10 and 5 threes are 15. So I've got 2 by 3. So here the fractions are 2 by 5 and 2 by 3 and the statement says they are equal. So is this true? 
it's not true because they are not equal so the first statement is false question 2 5 by 6 is already in the lowest term so let's reduce 35 by 42 both are divisible by 7 so let's divide both by 7 we have 7 5s are 35 and 7 6s are 42 so we've got 5 by 6 so 35 by 42 has become 5 by 6 and the other fraction which is already given in the question is also 5 by 6 and the statement says they are equal and this is true because they are equal so this statement is true question 3 5 by 4 and 4 by 5 as you can see are not equal so this statement is false question 4 we have 7 by 9 and the other side we have a mixed fraction so let's convert it Con let's convert this to a fraction 7 ones are 7 plus 1 8 so we've got 8 by 7 so the two fractions are 7 by 9 and 8 by 7 and the statement says they are equal which is not true because they are not equal so this statement is false next one the first fraction is given 9 by 7 and the second one is again a mixed number let's convert it 7 ones are 7 plus 1 8 by 7 so let me write that again 9 by 7 and 8 by 7 are the two fractions and the statement says they are equal as you can see they are not equal so this statement is also false Question 3, which is greater? Now, when you have two unlike fractions, that is, if the denominators are different, we have to first change them to like fractions and then see which is greater. So, to find the uh, like fractions, we have to first get the LCM of the denominators. So, the denominators are 5 and 3. Let's find the LCM of 5 and 3. 3. I bring down 5, it's not divisible. 3 1s are 3. I continue with 5. 5 1s are 5. So my LCM will be 3 into 5, which is 15. Okay, so now let me write down these questions. 3 by 5 or 2 by 3, which is greater. Now we have found the LCM, which is 15. I'm going to use that LCM as my new denominator for both the fractions. So this way we're going to get like fractions. Now 5 into 3 is 15. That's how I got this 15. 5 3s are 15. So if I multiply 5 by 3, I need to multiply the numerator also by 3. So 3 3s are 9. Let's go to the next fraction. 3 into 5 is 15. That's how my denominator became 15. So now I multiply my numerator also by 5. Since I multiplied 3 by 5. 2 5s are 10. Okay, now let's look at the two numerators because now we have like fractions. So the greater numerator is the greater fraction. So 10 by 15 is the greater fraction, which is the second fraction here. 10 by 15 is the second fraction, which is here. It is the second fraction. So let's write our answer. 2 by 3 is greater. 2 by 3 is greater. Question 2. Two unlike fractions again. Let's find the LCM. 9 and 4 are the denominators. We're going to find the LCM starting with 2. I bring down 9. 2 2s are 4. I'm going to use 2 again. Bring down 9. 
two ones are two. Now I move to three. Three threes are nine. I continue with three. Three ones are three. Now let's find the LC. Two into two into three into three. Two twos are four. Three threes are nine. So four threes, four nines are thirty six. So our LCM is thirty six. I'm going to use that as the common denominator. So let's write down the questions. Five by nine and three by four. My new denominator is thirty six for both the fractions. Okay, now nine into what is thirty six? Nine fours are thirty six. So I'm going to multiply five also by four. Five fours are twenty. Let me go to the next fraction. Four into what is thirty-six? Four nines are thirty-six. So I'm going to multiply three also by nine. Three nines are twenty-seven. So now we have like fractions. Look at the numerators. The greater numerator is twenty-seven. So this is the greater fraction, which is actually this one. Three by four. So what is my answer? Three by four is greater. So let me write that down. Three by four is greater. Question three. Eleven by fourteen or twenty-six by thirty-five. So let's find the LCM of the denominators: fourteen and thirty-five. Starting with two, two sevens are fourteen. I bring down thirty-five as it is. Now I move to seven. Seven ones are seven. Seven fives are thirty-five. Now I can move to five. Five one. I bring down the one. Five ones are five. My LCM is two into five into seven. Two fives are ten. Ten sevens are seventy. The LCM is. 70 so let's use this as the common denominator for both so my question is 11 by 14 and 26 by 35 so now my denominators have become 70 now 14 into 5 will give me 70 so let me multiply 11 also by 5 I get fifty-five. Moving to the next fraction, thirty-five into two will give me seventy. So I'm going to multiply twenty-six also by two. Twenty-six twos are fifty-two. So I get fifty-two by seventy here. Now they are like fractions, and look at the numerator. 55 is greater so this is the greater fraction which is this one so my answer is 11 by 14 is greater this time you're going to see which is smaller we follow the same method finding the lcm of the denominators 8 and 5 Two fours are eight. I bring down five. Two twos are four. Bring down five. Two ones are two. I bring down five. Five. Now the LCM will be. Count all the twos. There are three. Two into two into two into five. Two twos are four. Four twos are eight. Eight into five is forty. Eight fives are forty. So I can use forty as my common denominator. So the two fractions are three by eight and four by five. Now my common denominator is forty, and now I'm going to get my new numerators. Eight into five is forty. 
So I multiply 3 also by 5. 3 fives are 15. Moving on to the next fraction. 5 eighths are 40. So I multiply 4 also by 8. 4 eighths are 32. As you can see, now we have like fractions. 32 is the greater numerator and 15 is the smaller one. So let's put our sign there. This time we are looking for the smaller fraction and this is the smaller one. So my answer is 3 by 8 is smaller. Question 2. 8 by 15 or 4 by 7? Let's find the LCM of the denominators 15 and 7. Starting with 3, 3 fives are 15. I bring down 7. I go on to 5, 5 ones are 5. I bring down 7. I go on to 7, 1 and 1. So my LCM is 3 into 5 into 7. 3 fives are 15. 15 into 7 is 105. So my LCM is 105. So let me start this. Eight by fifteen or four by seven, which is a smaller one. Okay, now my LCM is one hundred and five, which I'm going to use as a common denominator, one hundred and five. Fifteen into seven is one hundred and five. So, I'm going to multiply 8 also by 7. 8 sevens are 56. Let me go on to the next one. 7 into 15 is 105. And 4 into 15 is 60. So, now we have two like fractions. And 56 is smaller than 60. That means... This fraction, 8 by 15, is smaller than 4 by 7. Let me write that down. 8 by 15 is smaller. Question 3. 7 by 26 or 10 by 39. Let's find the LCM. 26 and 39. Let's start with 2. 2 into what will give us 26? 2 1s are 2, 2 3s are 6, 13. I bring down 39. Now I go on to 3. 13 is not divisible. 3 1s are 3, 3 3s are 9. Both my numbers are 13. That means I can divide this by 13 itself. 13 1s are 13, 13 1s are 13. So my LCM equals 2 into 3 into 13. 2 3s are 6. 6 into 13 is 78. So that is my LCM which I am going to use. So the fractions are 7 by 26 and 10 by 39. And my new denominator is going to be 78. For both the fractions, it's going to be 78. Now, 26 into what will give me 78? 26 into 3 is equal to 78. So, 7 into 3, 7 3s are 21. Let's move on to the next fraction. 39 into 2 will give me 78. So 10 into 2 is 20. 10 twos are 20. So I have two fractions, 21 by 78 and 20 by 78. 
as you can see 20 is smaller than the other fraction so this is the smaller fraction so let's write the answer 10 by 39 is smaller so children let's stop with that for this video in the next video i'm going to be continuing this exercise from question 5 onwards thank you